so we are still styling our chat system and on this one what i want to show you is a little bit of how to add some animation so let's come uh, to this hover location here so as you can see as i hover over these buttons here they actually change their color because we have an a hover thingy here working hmm. however it's very possible for me to tell them to kind of delay this change so i can have these guys delay this change by uh, whatever this is by maybe half a second or an, a full second so i want to show you how this would actually work so what you do is you go to the actual not the hover uh thing but the actual styles the original styles okay and i'll go down here and simply tell it that i want a transition so i'll say transition so you can choose specifically what you want to transition in this case it's background color that we are changing however it's always a good idea if you don't care to simply write all now what all does is it tells the thing to animate anything that is changing on that item which is animatable and then the next parameter is like one second so maybe put an s uh, there so this number can be anything can be 10 seconds can be 0 0.5 seconds if you want but let's put one second so you can actually see the effect and then i will put something like ease at the end now of course i can add some more parameters here so this one tells it what to animate what to transition this one tells it how long the transition should last and this one is easy in, is in or is out uh, the beginning or the end of the animation. So there are many that you can use here. There's, I think there's is, there's, there's is in, and then there's is out. And also there's cubic bezier, which is a little bit more uh, advanced. And then if you want to, you can simply put another one second at the end here. Uh, but make sure the s is always there on these numbers otherwise it won't work now what this one will tell it is a delay on how long to delay uh, this transition so before we add all that let me remove and just leave these three there's all there's one second and this is so let's see how that affects our so as you can see now they are more relaxed in the way they actually change so this looks much much better now, if I had put that one second before this, you will see that it would take them a second. They would delay one second to change, and then they do change like that. See that? So that's how transitions work. Very, very uh, simple. So anything that I actually change, uh, if, if, if on hover I tell it to change the scale or the size or whatever property it is about the button, all that will be animated together with it very good now the next thing we want to do is we want to be able to animate this portion right here now the reason i want it to happen that way is what i want is when i click on chat like this then this layout looks will look just like this but when i click on contacts because i don't want to be uh, to be seeing the chats what i want is for this little black section to take up the entire space of this whole thing okay same thing when i click on settings i want to use this whole area for the settings and i don't want to see this part that shows the conversations of people so in order to be able to animate those i'm going to use the status of the checkbox so like i told you in the previous video when i click on one of these it should change the status of a checkbox right there so let's go and name them properly down here so that we can have uh better results so this one i'm going to name them um since these will be i'm going to use radio buttons now the reason i use radio buttons is because when i select one the other one becomes um, it's automatically removed in this case for example i can have four check boxes and i can check all of them and they will work but what i want is a system where when i select one the other ones switch off because i want to put three of them for each of these buttons 
So that is better served by using a radio button instead of a checkbox. All right, so let me put three radio buttons here and I will change the IDs accordingly. So I will say this one will be uh, radio, let, let's put radio underscore. And the first one will be chat. And the next one will be, we'll just use what they have, contacts. And the other one is radio uh, settings. So as you are seeing these radio buttons right here, the same IDs that we have here, we are going to use them up here. So for this one, I will do that. And I'll copy this four and put it in both of these and then just change what they are for. This one is for contacts and this one is for settings. So now observe what happens here. So let me refresh. So we have three of them right there. So if I click, each one selects what I want, but I want them to change. When one is selected, the other ones should uh, be off. So in order for that to happen, I have to go down to the radio buttons themselves and give them exactly the same name. So here the name doesn't really matter because we're not using these radio buttons anyway. So we can name them anything. So I'll just say uh, my radio just like that. So refresh and automatically only one will be selected at one time. This is exactly what I want. Now the second thing that I want is I want these radio buttons for this thing to work because I want to operate this section right here, this div. So for the thing that I want to do to work, the radio buttons and the div itself, which is this one, Actually, the div I want to control is the right panel. I want it to switch off and on. So for this to work, this uh, has to be a sibling to these. Right now, these input boxes are inside this div, which means they're children of this div. So what I want will not work. So what I need to do is cut them out of here, like so and actually put them as siblings. So in the same line as these guys. Now, a very important thing is these radio uh, buttons must come first. So I have to put them first like this in the dome. If I put them down here, it will not work. Okay, because CSS reads the page from the top to the bottom. So it has to take this, what I'm trying to do into account before it displays these guys. Okay, so now here, watch what we can do with this. So they are right here, of course. Even if I put them uh, next to this one, since this is the one actually, so I can move this up there, which is fine, like so. And then they're in the middle here. Let me remove some space because it's this one I want them to control. So that's still fine. So they have come right there. All right, and then we will hide them later. But now what I want to do is when I click here, I have an animation here. So it's very easy to do this kind of thing. So what I want to do is get this inner right panel. Let me get the inner right panel. Let me come here. Pound inner right panel like this. So I want its display. No, actually not its display because unfortunately you cannot animate the display. So what I want is to use the flex instead. So as you can see, the flex here is at uh, one, at two, and this one is at one. But if I put the flex at zero like this, and then come back here, I show you, you see that the the white thing has disappeared. These, this white th whiteness you see here is the radio buttons, but that right panel has disappeared now. So I want to animate that disappearing of the white panel. So what I will do, instead of having it directly saying flex is zero on this one, I'm going to say, when I click on this label, where is this label? This one. So let me give this particular label an ID. So I will say label underscore chat. Okay, so these names can be anything, of course. 
and then there is label label contacts and label settings so let me put that there now the reason i'm giving them names is so that i can refer to them directly okay so let me come back here and what i will do is put this here i will say a label chat full colon oh actually not really correct what i want to look for is let me get these uh what i need to look for is whether this is checked or not so i need an id here instead so i'll use radio chat instead so let me come back here we'll leave these ids here because we will need them still so what i want to do so you see inner there what i will do is paste that and leave a space so what i'm saying is that when radio chat full colon checked like so when the radio chat is checked do this to this element now i will put this uh tilde key there i don't know what they call it it's right under your escape key so this means sibling so it means this is a sibling uh, sibling of this one so if if uh, the this thing was a child of this one what i would use is this uh, symbol okay the greater than but for this one we are using that to the key because they are siblings if you remember because this uh, what's this inner right panel is the id so of course at the top here we have to use the pound or the hash key so what i'm saying here is that when this radio chat button the radio uh, box is checked do this to this sibling okay so let me uh, refresh and so you see right away because this chat is selected this thing goes to the end and then if i click on contacts it comes back here because contact is uh, not part of that so you see that's how it works so if i go to chat go to that one chat and that one so that's all we need to actually operate this but i want this to move nicely with a transition so all i need to do is go to the inner right panel and add a transition just like we did to the other thing so say transition I will say all, of course, and I will say one second. Let's actually do two seconds and then let's put ease. And let's refresh the page and let's try this, that, this. Okay, so things are not working. So let's see what's going on. Okay, so this is no transition, it's actually transform so transition is what i was looking for this autocorrect tricked me all right so let's hold on to that and there we go okay so on my pc of course it looks very slow because of the video capture software that's running here but on your pc it's going to look really good like that and then the last thing we're going to do now is to go to these radio buttons because we don't actually need them in the scene. So we are going to add some styles. So I'll select all of them here and add a style. And I'm going to say display none. Okay, awesome. So now we can't see them. And so when I click on chat, I get the section that I actually wanted. Oh, wait. Okay, so what's happening here is actually the opposite. When I click on chat, I want to see that section. And then when I click on these other ones, I don't want to see it. So what I will do is I'll put the control on both of these and leave it out on the other one. So let's go back here to the... Let's go up here. Uh -huh. Where is the CSS? So instead of radio chat, what I will use is radio contacts. 
and then I would duplicate this one and use also on radio settings like so so they are both controlling the same thing so let's refresh again and so when I click on settings I get this contacts I get that but on chat I get back this area all right then so that's about it for this episode and I will see you in the next one